Virtual currencies like Bitcoin might be paying off for some investors at the moment, but their lack of any connection to a government can be a big help to criminals. Korea is one of the world's biggest markets for cryptocurrencies, and because of those concerns, the authorities are trying to figure out how to regulate the new market. Cha Sang-mi has more. Amid rising cybercrime in Korea using virtual currencies like Bitcoin, the prosecution is doing its best to regulate the system using the existing law. Prosecutors claim criminal activities using virtual currency are draining national wealth, with up to 2.3 billion U.S. dollars leaving the country last year. Crime organizations buy Bitcoin abroad and then exchange it for Korean won. They use money given for transactions in Korea to exchange for Chinese yuan, which they then use to buy Bitcoin. During the process, they not only take a commission, but also earn the difference between the Chinese and Korean currency. The price of the Bitcoin is always changing, but the Korean price is higher than the price in China. The difference per Bitcoin can reach over 900 U.S. dollars. As Bitcoin trading grows, such crimes also rise as there is no obstacle to international transactions. Prosecutors are focusing on such transactions and arrested six people in Incheon last month. To try to tackle the issue, Korea's finance ministry as well as relevant ministries and commissions related to virtual currencies will hold a joint task force meeting on Friday to discuss ways to regulate the digital currency market. The task force is to bring multiple regulations such as the Electronic Financial Transaction Act. Financial Service Commission Chairman Choi jong gu on Monday said that the commission doesn't acknowledge Bitcoin transactions as actual financial deals since they aren't institutionalized transactions. Che said the FSC is discussing measures to restrict transactions to some extent and is even considering an all-out ban. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.